hello and welcome. My name is Steve, if we haven't met before. I'm the lead pastor of a community, the Meeting House Sandbanks. We're an extended family of the broader Meeting House community. This past Sunday, uh, I got to teach uh, that whole community and I invited them in that teaching to reflect on their image for God or the names that they've used for God throughout their life and how they might be affecting uh, how their journey of discipleship is going to be. Well, today I want to invite you to a deeper spiritual practice, a practice and prayer of examine, where we're going to invite God to help us to examine some of the names or images that we have for God and as a way for God to invite us to consider how that particular name or one particular name might draw us to become more like Jesus, to be more as we were created to be. So I've modified a prayer of examine, and I just want to quickly outline what a prayer of examine is and then just invite you into that. So first, uh, for the prayer of examine, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and then we will invite God's presence to be with us and I will invite you to become aware of God's presence with you where you are. Then we'll have a time of reflection where I'll ask some questions. Then I will invite you in a time of silence to pray about the things that God reveals during this time. Well, as we're doing this, uh, it'll be important that we're aware of emotions. So uh, during the meditation, I'll remind you of that. Then, as we've been praying and with those emotions that come up, we will invite God to show us how to work uh, towards what God's inviting us to do tomorrow. And lastly, we'll give thanks before we close and head off for the day. A practice like this uh, is meant to help you to experience God's love and presence in your life. So I hope that before we begin, you are fully aware of God. God as a loving creator who made you, loves you, and wants you to be able to live your best kingdom life. If you've ever had any questions about that or you want to talk more about how to live a life with Jesus, you can always reach out and email steve.kerr at themediahouse.com and I'd be happy to talk with you today. But let us now begin. I want you to close your eyes. And let's center by taking a few deep breaths in, holding that breath for three seconds and exhaling. I invite you to find a rhythm of breathing that is comfortable for you. Breathe in deep, hold, and breathe out slow. God, we invite your presence to be with us here today. Make yourself available. Help us to become aware of your presence in a way that maybe we haven't before. Help us to hear you and know that you are here with us, God. Continue to breathe deeply. And just notice. Invite God and acknowledge God's presence in your own way. Holy Spirit, we invite you to guide this time. Help us to see what it is that you would like us to see. Invite God to show you ways that you know God, ways that you've experienced God's presence. What names do you use when you pray with God? Is there one name that you always use when you share who God is with somebody else?
Have you heard somebody else describe God in a way that surprised you? In a way that you hadn't heard? How have you been frustrated by some name for God, maybe in scripture, maybe as somebody you know has used it? What images or names have helped open up your understanding of God's love? Are there any where you have questions? Of all these things that God has revealed as you've reflected, take a moment and invite God to show you one thing, one name, one image that God would have you hold and reflect. It's God inviting you to notice today. Now in that memory, with that name, consider who did you hear it from or in what context? Is it part of scripture? How does it make you feel? Pray about one thing and invite God into it. What does that emotion mean? What do you want me to notice about this part of your image? Now invite God to show you. What does this revelation mean for you tomorrow? Do you have to study more? Do you have to become more active? Do you have to start praying differently? Ask God now to show you one small thing you can do and ask God for the courage, the strength, the wisdom and the encouragement to do it. Holy Spirit, Creator God, Holy One, Jesus. Thank you for coming and showing us just how much you love us. Help us to move forward tomorrow with these images that you've given us right now. Help us to remember the times that you have shown up before so if we have work to do, we can remember that we don't do it alone, but we do it with your help. But most of all, God, help us to be your body now today on earth. We pray all these things in Jesus' name and by the power of your spirit, which is here with us, guiding us, molding us, forming us, and inviting us even now to be co-creators and stewards in your kingdom. We pray this. Amen. Well, I hope you have a Good day, wherever you are. If you have any questions about uh, this practice or any other prayers or spiritual practices, 
uh, what a life with Jesus could look like and what discipleship is all about. Maybe who we are as a community here in Sandbanks, I'd be happy to chat. You can email steve.kerr at themeaninghouse.com or comment right here on this video. Well, until next time, I bless you. Have a great day.